Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Cincinnati Man. I am back. Uh, I just watched episode two of uh, Echo, uh, The Walk. And uh, this is my my reaction. I took some notes down and let's just get, let's just get to it. First thing I want to know is when the opening scene showed, showed the people in Alabama, for some reason, I instantly was like, I wonder if their people know about Namor. <laughs> or no more. I was like, nah, that has nothing to do with this. Um, you know, they showed her her great 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 grand. I don't know how many greats it is, but it's way back in the day before um, this place was America. But it said Alabama. I don't know why I said Alabama if it's not America, yo. It shouldn't even say Alabama. It should say something else. Anyway, um, it showed that she saved the day and saved, and say, and 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 then, and then she saved the uh, her people from being banished. Um, I don't understand why these Marvel soundtracks are so bad. The I get it; they're being they're instead of it instead of it being um, orchestral or whatever, it's more. Oh, let's let's put some hip hop in, or let's put some some R and B in, or let's put some rock in, and it just, it, you know, I get it. Like Iron Man, the Iron Man song hits for Iron Man, but everybody, they really think about it. Nobody has well, Thor. Thor had the uh, it, uh, Ragnarok. It that that hit with the uh, Led Zeppelin, but um. I love yeah yes, but I cannot I I can't get into it. I cannot get into it, and that belief it just sounded cheesy. And Biscuits is still the worst character on here. Um, I I can't believe I still can't believe what uh oh I the grandfather is hilarious. He reminds me of, uh, for some reason, the way he was acting in times remind me of the, the grandfather from the the, the cartoon uh, network show, uh, The Boondocks. And uh, he was high. When he was talking to those people and he was telling them about, oh, old, old nat- native stuff, just, he wasn't even a good salesman. If you're going to BS people, at least BS them where they believe you. The whole time I listened to him, I was like, they don't believe him. That's why they was about to leave to, to Biscuits. Say. I got no biscuits real now. I can't call no grown man biscuits. I'm sorry. This is getting he gonna be called B. I or so I don't know. Uh, Maya's cousin. That's it. Maya's cousin for now on. Um You know, I don't understand. You know something I I keep I keep on saying everything so I don't understand something. I really don't. Um I knew I knew Henry was in the underworld, but I didn't know he was like I didn't really realize he was primarily working for Fisk when um Maya was looking at it in the first ep- first episode, like point, like basically staring at the the shipping yard. He's like, "Oh no, don't touch it, don't touch it." Maya essentially ruined his business for her revenge, and and she, and she doesn't care. Even in the, at the end of the episode, she was like, "He was like, hey, people that people that you care about will get hurt." She's like, "Who I care about?" It was like, how is anybody supposed to like this character? She says she doesn't care about anybody, but she needs she needs uh, her cousin, uh, her cousin biscuits to get all that stuff for her. She needs her 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 grandfather to fix her fix her leg. She she. Uh, is avoiding her cousin that really cared. Oh, yo, Bonnie. We need more. Bonnie bad. Bonnie is bad, as in good. I mean, Bonnie look good. And I'm sitting there like, y'all should have. How dare you keep this away from me until it only showed me it towards the end. What is wrong with y'all? Woof. Goodness. She fine. And what's hilarious is, okay, Kingpin runs New York, supposedly, the New York Underground. And you mean to tell me 
she blew up. She blew up. She's like, he he ain't got no army. I blew up his he I blew up his armory. I'm thinking like, if you're in charge of a whole city, you got more than one armory. That, that's not how that works. Oh oh, this is this is my prediction in further episodes. This is episode two. This is my prediction for further episodes. They're gonna destroy the skating rink. Maya's gonna get some kind of weird supernatural power for her leg, where the energy forms around her leg, and she doesn't really need. She never need. Oh yeah, wait, explain this. Why is her grandfather fixing her fake leg? But her grandfather's fixing her fake leg. She ain't got spares. She ain't got no spare legs. She ain't got no leg for mountain climbing. She ain't got no leg for bike riding. No leg for walking. I find that hard to believe. Doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, back to my prediction. The skating rink's gonna get destroyed. And also, this is gonna be one of those things where the townspeople will have to rally around Maya in order to fight Kingpin. Maya's not a hero. She's not even she's she's an idiot. This whole series, she's an idiot. And you is you just you just telegraph like, oh yeah, everybody everybody's gonna people will get killed if things are gonna if things are gonna get destroyed because of you. Yeah. Oh. I saw the one of the might be all time most ridiculous thing to come out of the MCU MCU since uh since Endgame ended. The scene where Maya jumps from the train to the truck. Listen to me very carefully. I watched it maybe ten times in a row. It is my jaw dropped. That's all I'm going to say. If you get Disney Plus and one of your friends get Disney Plus, watch that scene in episode two of My Jumps from the Truck. That's all I got to say. Y'all, y'all crazy for that. But I'm Cincinnati, man. On to the next one.